Seven riders, just under two kilometers to go, and still from Flirt and Right. She knows that she can try and draw this one out and really create a high tempo to really um, make sure that she can open a gap to the riders from behind as well. If she can try and take these seven riders to the finish and try and draw things out, Cavalli. Kubali. Cavalli makes her move. In the meantime, on the radio behind, Este works. The rider just coming up at the back saying, I cannot follow. And it's down to Ashley Muma to close this. The climbing is done. It's that false flat end of the finish now. The dangerous move here. Annemiek van Vleuten has done all that work on the front and she didn't want to come through when you saw that flick of the elbow from Ashley Moorman Passio and it plays into the hands of the former Italian champion Marta Cavalli of Francis de Jure. This looks like it might be gone. Marta Cavalli has a gap here and a serious one at that now, pedaling into the final kilometer. Who's going to do the chasing now? And Cavalli, with that full commitment, plays into uh, her hands and when they all start to look at each other in that uh, chasing group of six behind no one wanting to take it up no one wanting to take one of the faster finishes we know how well Damie Vollering can sprint we know how fast Liana Lippet can be Annemiek van Vleuten too last kilometer for the attacker last kilometer for Marta Cavalli trying to recover there Demi following at the back as Moorman rides to try and bring this back she is the one committed attempting to do it but Cavalli is looking good here Cavalli is out there a 24 year old out the road from Cremona is after a very big result just two career wins so far and Cavalli looking to take something big in the meantime moment's not going to give up she has her sprinter following with her sitting in fourth wheel sitting drafting waiting Lippert though is in front of her in the black jersey as Cavalli's away here and doesn't look like being caught at the moment has not looked back once either into this final kilometer it's been head down full commitment now she takes a look behind how much time has she got left it's into a slight headwind in the finale here as well. Cavalli looks like she's running out of gas. Cavalli has to get her head down and go to the line. Here she goes, up into the final couple of hundred meters now. Three and a quarter hours of racing. She's realizing that this might be the moment. Cavalli with one more little push to the finish. Cavalli goes for FTG, but she's out of gas. I don't know. I think she'll do it. Surely now. Surely now. They bang on the boards, and Marta Cavalli cannot believe it. That is some win in the Amstel Gold Race. She kept us guessing, but she has it. And once more, Anna Mick from Fluton misses out. Marta Cavalli wins the Amstel Gold Race for FDG. That is the biggest win of her career. Wow. With only two previous victories in her career, by far the biggest there and a huge moment they've been knocking on the door for such a long time waiting for that big big win Marta Cavalli today they were missing Brody Chapman because of illness this is a sprint for second place by the way Lippert in the black there that's following coming through in the Este Works jersey on the right hand side the pink and the yellow Van Flutten losing ground and she's off the podium as well I think looks as though it's following and then Lippert let's get the confirmation here following and then Lippert second and third looks as though it's a fourth place for Annemiek van Vluch. and a fifth place there going to Kasia Niviadoma van Vluch and trying and trying and trying this is the one that eludes her yeah, and it's still, you know, another year goes by and uh, it's not one that's been added to her Palmares. I mean, it's not through uh, one of not trying. She she tried several times today, as did Movistar uh, as a whole. And uh, she had that perfect uh, that perfect positioning going into the bottom of the Kauberg, thanks to the work of uh, Orbiani. Marta Cavalli wins the Amstel Gold Race ahead of Demi Follering and Liana Lippert. Annemiek van Flutten finishes fourth, Kasia Nivia Thomas fifth with Garcia Moomen Balsamo and uh, Rivera with Bertizzolo finishing in the top ten. And it's Italian at the top of the tree though, Marta Cavalli making history, the first Italian woman to win Amstel Gold.